Singapore and Malaysia have fought over this rock for over 40 years. Most recently, Malaysian Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim instructed Malaysia's Attorney General to look into the country's claims over Praja Branca. This is the second claim they made over the island in 2022. But why is this white rock with a lot of bird shit so important? Praja Branca is only 8,560 square meters, just a bit bigger than a football field. The island is so small, you can't even see it sometimes because of the tide. Physically, this rock may seem insignificant, but politically, this rock holds significant weight. First, a bit of history. The earliest documentation of Pedra Branca is from the 1500s, claiming the island as a navigational marker for passing ships. In 1851, British merchants built the Horsburg Lighthouse on the island as a tribute to the late East India Company hydrographer James Horsburg. From 1850 to the time of the conflict in 1979, Singapore exercised full acts of sovereignty on Pedra Branca and its surrounding waters. This includes maintaining and expanding the facilities on the island and controlling people's access to it. This continued even after 1965 when Singapore separated from Malaysia and became independent. But on December 21st, 1979, Malaysia published a map that claimed Pedra Branca as theirs. Singapore refused to accept this sudden claim and tensions rose between Malaysia and Singapore for 14 years over this island, before formally bringing the dispute to ICJ on July 24, 2003. Judgment was only passed almost five years later on May 23, 2008, and Pedra Branca was ruled as Singapore's. In the judgment, the court indicated that while the Sultan of Johor had the original title to Pedra Branca, sovereignty over the isle was passed to Singapore as they maintained control around the perimeters without being challenged by Malaysia. In addition, a 1953 letter from a top official in Malaysia claims that the Johor government does not claim ownership of Pedra Branca. Now that Pedra Branca legally belongs to Singapore, Singapore is entitled to an exclusive economic zone around the island meaning Singapore has exclusive rights to fish and conduct other economic activities in the area. So things were quiet after the judgment passed. But in July 2017, just a year before the deadline for review of the judgment, Malaysia decided to bring the case up to court again with three new pieces of evidence. The claims come two years after the discovery of 14th century ancient Chinese artifacts 100 meters northwest of Pedra Branca. The three pieces of evidence were discovered in the United Kingdom's National Archive. Two out of the three pieces of evidence are from 1958. The first is an internal correspondence of Singapore colonial authorities. The second is an incident report by a British naval officer. And the third is an annotated map of naval operations from the 1960s. Malaysia claims that all three pieces of evidence show that high-level Singaporean officials do not consider Pedro Branca as theirs. Meanwhile, Singapore claims that the documents do not satisfy the criteria for revision. Malaysia filed an application for revision on the basis that the new evidence counted as a decisive factor but was not known at the time of judgment. Singapore argued that the decisive evidence in a 2008 judgment was a letter from Johor's top official that says the Johor government does not claim ownership of Pedra Branca. The dispute eventually ended in 2018 when Malaysia decided to withdraw its application to revise the ICJ judgment over Pedra Branca weeks after its 2018 election. Then Malaysian Prime Minister Mahathir Mohamad expressed that Malaysia had accepted the ICJ ruling and cited this as an example of how ASEAN member states had worked together based on mutual respect. Meanwhile, Singapore agreed in Malaysia's request for discontinuance and expressed confidence in ICJ's original decision that declares Pedra Branca as Singapore's. So why is Pedra Branca being brought up again in 2022? Honestly, we don't know. But this issue was first brought up by then Malaysia's Prime Minister Ismail Sabri just as Malaysia was about to hold its general election in November. And recently, Malaysia's Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim asked his Attorney General and the government to look into other arising implications relating to Pedra Branca so that more meaningful negotiations can be conducted with Singapore. However, legally speaking, Malaysia is unable to do so since the time of review has passed. Furthermore, both Singapore and Malaysia had publicly announced that they would accept and abide by ICJ's ruling, which is final. However, Singapore said that it is ready to defend sovereignty over Pedra Branca and deal with whatever legal action for Malaysia. 